so this is my kitchen. This is where the magic happens. So it's um, a pretty gross day outside, as you can probably see. Um, so I decided I was gonna make a nice little roast chicken because it's cold and everybody likes roast chicken when it's cold. Um, with maybe a little pan sauce, it depends on how many drippings I get from this chicken. Um, mashed potatoes, which you know, classic. Um, Swiss chard with a lot of garlic, also classic. And um, an apple pie, which should be interesting because I don't really make that many apple pies. And also I don't have my pastry unit until next week. So maybe it'll be like a before and after, like look at the crappy pie she made before and then look at this really professional thing she did after, so. Um, yeah, hopefully that'll be what it'll turn out to be, so. Yeah. Oh, and also a bottle of um, Willamette Valley Pinot Noir will figure quite heavily later on, but it's uh, like 11.30 in the morning now, so I don't really want to start. It would just be bad to start now. This is how it begins with the Swiss chard. Here's my Swiss chard. It's in the sink. And here are the stems that I've cleaned. And now I'm going to boil them. And now I know you're thinking, Stephanie, what's up with all that Swiss chard? Because really, you're just cooking this for two people. And it is a lot of Swiss chard. We like Swiss chard around here. Swiss chard is really good for you. And you should eat more of it. So that's your PSA for today. So this is the setup for my pie crust. Um, we've got flour, salt, and sugar in there. Chilled butter, it's important for everything to be very cold. That's shortening right in there. And then that back there in the bowl is ice water. Uh, so here's my conundrum. I have apples and dough and a functioning oven. What do I not have? A pie plate. So I think that the pie was pretty successful. Here's my pie. Um, I'll zoom in. No, zoom in. Um, you'll notice I love a little A on top, which is what my grandmother always did. So clearly, as you can see by the wine, the drinking has begun. Um, this is my chicken. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to take you through how to um, take care of it as soon as I find a place to put this camera. All in all, I think the video blog is probably more entertaining than um, the night actually was because um, I fell asleep on the couch at like 9.20 watching probably either The Simpsons or The Daily Show or, um, you know, some trashy, trashy thing. Um, which, you know, is normally a Saturday night for me, <laughs> so that's good. Um, I'm kidding. So this is um, what my dinner looks like the morning after. Uh, I just want everybody to dwell on the pie because the pie did turn out really well. Um, I didn't eat all that, and it helped me eat that. Um, it was really good. Here's the chicken. It looks nicer yesterday. Um, again, I didn't eat all that, and it helped me eat some of that. Um, those are the leftover mashed potatoes. I did eat a lot of mashed potatoes. Um, and these are, um, this is my Swiss chard. Um, and here's the wine, which, you know, that's fine. That's just a reasonable, reasonable amount. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. And, um, PBS, you know where I am. I know you're looking for a new hip cooking show to appeal to a younger crowd, so, um, call me.